What Canadian immigration program can I apply as candidate? Answer. The Immigration Refugee Citizenship Canada have an online tool called Come to Canada. It helps foreign nationals find out if they may be eligible to apply as immigrants, visitors, workers or students in Canada. If you may be eligible as a visitor, worker or student you can apply online. The tool will direct you to your account where you can create an account and fill out the online application. You may also have the option to complete a paper application. If you may be eligible to immigrate permanently under express entry, you must apply online. Unless you cannot because of a disability, the tool will direct you to your account, where you will create an account and can fill out the online application. If you may be eligible to immigrate permanently under any other program, you must submit a paper application. Can the tourist find work in Canada? Answer. A new temporary public policy will allow visitors to apply for a work permit without having to leave Canada. Visitors who are currently in Canada and have a valid job offer will be able to apply for an employer-specific work permit and, if approved, receive the permit without having to leave the country, thanks to a new public policy announced by the Honorable Marco E. L. Mendocino, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship. This temporary policy change takes effect immediately and will benefit employers in Canada who continue to face difficulties finding the workers they need as well as temporary residents who would like to contribute their labor and skills to Canada's recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. To be eligible, an applicant looking to benefit from this temporary public policy must have valid status in Canada as a visitor on the day they apply, have been in Canada on the 24th of August. 2020 and remained in Canada, have a job offer. Submit an application for an employer-specific work permit that is supported by a Labor Market Impact Assessment, LMIA, or an LMIA exempt offer of employment, no later than the 31st of March, 2021. Meet all other standard admissibility criteria. This temporary public policy also provides the opportunity for applicants who meet these criteria and who had a valid work permit in the past 12 months to begin working for their new employer before their work permit application has been fully approved. What are the high demand jobs from 2021 and beyond? Answer. 1. Registered nurse. Highest demand provinces and territories, all except Saskatchewan and Newfoundland and Labrador, where demand is fair. Median hourly wage, $37.60. Highest paying provinces and territories, Nunavut, Northwest Territories, and Yukon. Typical entry level education, bachelor's degree and registration with a provincial or territorial regulatory authority. 2. Truck driver. Highest demand provinces and territories, Pay, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Quebec, BC and Yukon. Median hourly wage, $21.67. Highest paying provinces and territories, Yukon, Northwest Territories, and Alberta. Typical entry level education, completion of truck driver training, must also obtain appropriate licensing and endorsements. 3. College or vocational instructor. Highest demand provinces and territories, Ontario, Quebec, and BC. Median hourly wage, $37.93. Highest paying provinces and territories, Nunavut, Northwest Territories, and Alberta. Typical entry level education, ranges from diploma, combined with related industry experience to master's degree. 4. Business management consultant. Highest demand provinces and territories, BC, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Ontario, Pay, Quebec, and Saskatchewan. 
Median hourly wage, $36.55. Highest paying provinces and territories, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and BC. Typical entry level education, business related diploma or bachelor's degree combined with relevant industry experience. 5. Welder. Highest demand provinces and territories, BC and PI. Median hourly wage, $25. Highest paying provinces and territories, Alberta, Newfoundland and Labrador, and BC. Typical entry level education, completion of vocational training or an apprenticeship program, trade certification may also be required. 6. Licensed Practical Nurse. Highest demand provinces and territories, BC, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Pay, Quebec, and Alberta. Median hourly wage, $26.30. Highest paying provinces and territories, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba. Typical entry level education, diploma and registration with a provincial or territorial regulatory authority. 7. Occupational Office of Therapy Assistant, Highest Demand Provinces and Territories, New Brunswick, Ontario, Manitoba, Alberta, BC, and Saskatchewan. Median hourly wage, $23. Highest paying provinces and territories, Saskatchewan, Newfoundland and Labrador, and Alberta. Typical entry level education, diploma. 8. Software engineer or designer. Highest demand provinces and territories. Saskatchewan, Pay, New Brunswick, Quebec, Nova Scotia, Ontario, and BC. Median hourly wage, $43.27. Highest paying provinces and territories. Alberta, Ontario, and Manitoba. Typical entry level education. Bachelor's degree. 9. Aerospace Engineer Highest Demand Provinces and Territories Nova Scotia, Ontario and Quebec Median Hourly Wage $39.42 Highest Paying Provinces and Territories Quebec, Ontario and Nova Scotia Typical Entry Level Education Bachelor's Degree and Possibly Provincial or Territorial Licensing 10. Industrial Electrician Highest demand provinces and territories, Nova Scotia, Pay, and Ontario. Median hourly wage, $33.19. Highest paying provinces and territories, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and BC. Typical entry level education, completion of vocational training or an apprenticeship program, trade certification may also be required. 11. Aircraft pilot, highest demand provinces and territories, Quebec, Manitoba, Alberta, BC, and Yukon. Median hourly wage, $38.81. Typical entry level education, completion of pilot training, must also obtain appropriate pilot licensing. 12. Pharmacist, highest demand provinces and territories, New Brunswick. Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, NBC, median hourly wage, $50.31, highest paying provinces and territories, Quebec, Alberta, and Manitoba, typical entry level education, bachelor's degree and registration with a provincial or territorial regulatory authority. 13. Psychologist, highest demand provinces and territories, PEI, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and BC. Median hourly wage, $40. Highest paying provinces and territories, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Nova Scotia. Typical entry level education, masters or doctoral defense. 14. Steam fitter, or pipe fitter, highest demand provinces and territories, Ontario. Median hourly wage, $36. Highest paying provinces and territories, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Pay. Typical entry level education, completion of vocational training or an apprenticeship program, trade certification may also be required. 15. Construction estimator. 
highest demand provinces and territories, BC, Nova Scotia, Ontario, and Quebec. Median hourly wage, $31.25. Highest paying provinces and territories, BC, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. Typical entry level education, certificate or diploma, Canadian Institute of Quantity Surveyors CIQS certification may be required. 16. Veterinary Technician or Assistant, Highest Demand Provinces and Territories, Quebec, Ontario, and BC. Median hourly wage, $18. Highest paying provinces and territories, Alberta, Pay, and Manitoba. Typical entry level education, diploma, registration with the national, provincial, or territorial association may be required. 17. Dispensing Optician. Highest demand provinces and territories, Nova Scotia, Quebec, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and BC. Median hourly wage, $24. Highest paying provinces and territories, Ontario, Newfoundland and Labrador, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia. Typical entry level education, diploma and licensing from a provincial or territorial regulatory body. 18 if you have one, written job offer from an employer in Canada. If you have one, proof of work experience, certificate of qualification in a trade occupation issued by a Canadian province or territory. If you have one, proof of funds, documents for your application for permanent residence, police certificates, medical exams, proof of funds, birth certificate required if you're declaring dependent children. Marriage certificate required if you've declared your marital status as married. Divorce certificate. And legal separation agreement required if you've declared your marital status as divorced. Death certificate. Required if you've declared your marital status as widowed. Adoption certificate. Required when a dependent child is listed as adopted. <laughs> 